Welcome, welcome all to another episode of Concave TCG News. That's right, this is your host, Conrad Wang, aka DKSan1992. In today's episode, we're going to do a huge recap on the latest livestream event of Bandai as they present the new upcoming booster sets for Union Arena starting this October all the way to next year. So please, everyone who's watching my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video to your friends because we will be talking about a lot of stuff for Union Arena. フォルティチュード計測不能ユニオンアリーナに怪獣8号が登場だ防衛隊第3部隊が超豪華カードデザインテレビキャストによるサイン入りの特別使用カードをラインナップフォルテチュード 9.8 Alright, now, for our first review, we'll be talking about the first part of the video, which is Union Arena's Kaiju No. 8, which will be launched this October. Now, the booster set revealed new cards that will be presented in the set. So, what are some of the new cards being presented? First, first things first, uh, we have Reno Ichikawa. Yes, Reno Ichikawa is a yellow character and it's a raid card. Now, the skill is, if there is another card that has a required energy of 3 on the same line, this character gains 500 BP. Not only that, on play, <clears throat> play up to one yellow character with required energy of 3 or less and AP cost of 1 from your hand to your area rested. Pretty simple, right? You could set up your formations easily. Now, according to this, since uh, Reno Ichikawa is a 3 energy card and 1 action point, it is also, pam pam pam, its attack BP is around 3,500. Nice. Now, the other card that was presented is Kikoru Shinomiya. A yellow character card. Now, this card on play, if it's your turn and if this character was played by your character's field or event card effects, choose up to one of your AP cards and set it to active. Pretty neat, right? Pretty neat. And I gotta say, I could tell a combo between these two. Reno and Kikori would be a good combo deck, so let's see what it can do. Now, aside from the fact that uh, these two were shown, Another, well, I would say one of the rarest cards to find in the set will has been shown in this in the new commercial. And what is that card? Pamparabam, Kaiju number eight. That's right, people. Kaiju number eight. It is shown, and uh, they show the SR Triple Star card, which is the alternate art. Now, according to this, uh, this is an eight energy card and two action points are required to use this unit yeah that's true but wow it's uh bp is at 5000 and to play this card well it's pretty pretty simple okay so here's the skill if there are two or more rested characters on your front line reduce the required energy of this card in your hand by two then this character is played in active so when you play it it's already active now this has damage too then on play choose up to one character in your opponent's front line 
move it to the energy line and give it this character cannot move until the start of your next turn paralysis much people and i kind of like this this idea is not a bad because in union arena you need to find ways to reduce your opponent's field in order to gain a chance to you know break through his memory area and that is a pretty damn good card now aside from the fact that they've shown the three star card for kaiju number eight they also revealed signature limited edition 80 cards which will have the signatures of popular well voice actors and who are they first of all it is of course kaiju number eight and his human alter ego well who is his human alter ego well kafka hibino that's right kafka hibino and kaiju number eight together is one of the ap cards that will be found in this set the other well a potential waifu card <laughs> yes it's a waifu card and you know who that is sadly it's not the girl that was shown a while ago but it's who we who is this who is this just kidding i know who it is that is mina ashiro nice right so these two cards will be found in the next booster set. Now Kaiju number eight will be released this October on October 25. So make sure if you want to get this set, you better pre-order it now online or in your local TCG stores. <laughs>仮面ライダーシリーズがユニオンアリーナに参戦。仮面ライダー01をはじめとした6作品が登場だ。劇中の実写素材を使用したカードになっているぞ。あの名シーンがカードデザインに熱い戦いがカードバトルで蘇る。
this character gains impact 1 during this turn. Okay, I'm gonna say one thing. Holy mole! That's right. What kind of card is this? You can instantly kill your opponent. <laughs> Imagine, you are trying to deal 1 damage to your opponent. And you've been attacking 4 times. And he managed to block all 4. This? This is a game changer. That's right. <laughs> but... The procedure is that you have a, has eight or more cards with different names that include Zo on your area, so it's gonna be pretty difficult. I'm actually more curious on what kind of build it will be. Now, lastly, was uh, now the last part was the end of the commercial showed what will be the three star card for this set. And you know what? To know what's the three star card of this set, the three star card for this set is Common Rider Zero Two. Izu. Now, Kamen Rider 02 Izu, we already tackled the fact that this card was revealed a couple of weeks ago. But to recap, this card is 4 energy and 2 action points are required to play this card. Now, how to use it? Okay, let's recap, okay? Now, according to this, during your attack phase, when Kamen Rider 01 realizing Hopper raids, that there are 3 or more hidden intelligent trait cards on the field, you may play this card from your hand to your area rested. But no, the effect of Kamen Rider 02 Izu can only be activated once per turn. Now, on play, you may choose up to one character on your area with 01 in its name. And if you do, it gains 1000 BP and damage 2 during this turn. Now, for this to become the 3 star, ho ho! Izus around the world unite! <laughs> Izu fans, unite because this is going to be awesome. Now, aside from the fact that Zero uh, 2 was shown, another card was revealed to be uh, revealed as the limited AP card, and it's Kamen Rider Grand Zio. Pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Now, to get this uh, set, it's coming out this October 25, same time as Kaiju number 8. So, like I said again, people, those who want to get this set, you have to pre-order them from your local TCG stores or online. Now that we're done discussing what are the booster sets coming out this October, let's shift to November. That's right. Now, there are booster sets that are coming out on November. And one of them is Sword Art Online Volume 2. Now, Sword Art, Vo Art Volume 1 first released the, uh, earlier this year. And now we're getting Volume 2. And that's surprisingly quick. Now, on Volume 2, we have two characters that have been revealed. Yeah, two characters have been revealed for this set. They are Yuna and Mito. Now, Yuna and Mito from Sword Art Online is pretty unexpected because, well, they came out during the movie of Sword Art Online. Now, what is that movie? I think that was called uh, Sword Art Online the Movie Ordinal Scale. Now, Yuna came first appeared in that movie and I gotta say it's really unexpected. Now, let's see what her skill does. First of all, she's a raid card and for the first time, Sword Art Online will have a purple set. That's right, purple set. Now, uh, as a purple card, she's an SR and a raid unit. She is 3 energy required and 1 action point to play and her BP is around 3000. On play, you have to choose one. Uh, you have to choose one song trait card from your outside area to your hand. Then you have to choose one other character on your area, and it gains 1,000 BP. Now, rest this unit only if you use a song trait card during this turn. Doing so, all Yuna and all Sal Survivor trait cards on your area gain 1,000 plus BP. So if you manage to do this right, you have at least 4,000 to 5,000 BP for this card. And pretty interesting, right? Now, the next card is Mito. Wow, Mito, Mito. Where is Mito from, uh, my friend? Oh, right, right, right. She's also from, uh, she's from Sword Art Online Progressive. What is Progressive? Uh, progressive is uh, technically <clears throat> a spin-off of Asuna's initial struggle to cope being trapped in Sword Art Online. So yeah, 
This is uh, she was found in uh, the movie. <laughs> now, Mito is also another purple card. Now, according to this, she has a trait that's called progressive. Nice. She's also a raid card and she requires four energy and one action point. Now, this character cannot be blocked by characters with 2,000 or less BP. On play, I may choose one of the following effects. It's either I draw one card or I play up to one Asuna card with a card energy of two or less and an AP cost of one from your hand to your area rested. Now, activate main. If this is on the front line, I can choose one character on my opponent's front line with a 1,500 BP or more and it gets minus 1,000 BP during this turn. Holy moly! That's gonna be one unexpected card. Now, those two cards that were shown in this set are both the double SR star cards for this set and pretty impressive if I would say. Now, when the Sword Art Online come out, well, Sword Art Online Volume 2 will be released on November 15th. You can pre-order this set on your local TCG stores or online, so you better get it soon, okay? Also coming out this uh, November is one of the most highly anticipated sets for Union Arena, and that is Arc Knights! That's why I keep on Arc Knights. Now, Arc Knights is the, one of the gacha games that are popular not only in Japan but worldwide, and this tower defense game is pretty neat. Now, of course, not only will the booster set come out on November, but also a starter deck. And what better way to celebrate its release? Well, we get to see tan -tan -tan, another sneak peek of the set. And that is a SR double star cards for, well, Calcet. <laughs> That's right, Calcet. And, uh,. Well, mascot of the Arc Knight series. Pam para pam. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? I actually don't know this girl also. Okay, there we go. Amiya! That's right. Now, let's first take a look at Amiya. What does Amiya do? Now, Amiya is, according to this, is an SR card. So, probably there will be an SR double star card. Alright. Oh, well, actually, yeah, there is. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting good. Now, Amiya is a SR uh, is an SR card, and according to this, she is also a raid card. <laughs> That's right. She requires four energy and one energy, uh, four energy and one action point to play. Now, pretty neat, right? Pretty neat. And I gotta say, this is gonna be interesting. Now, she has impact one. Basic, very basic, and. As long as uh, this is this unit's on uh, on the field, uh, while uh, in the front line, characters on your energy line do not retire. Safe. This card is playing safe. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now she, that is the SR double star version, and pretty pretty interesting. Now the second card next to her is a new card, and that is another SR double star, which is Calcet. Now, according to this, Calcet is a blue character card and she has a trait. Her trait is Rhode Island Pharmaceuticals. She requires 5 energy and 1 action point. Of course, you need to raid her, okay? On play, you draw 1 card. Activate main in the energy line, rest this unit, and place 1 card from your hand to the outside area. Doing so, you can return 1 character with required energy of 3 or less from your area to your hand. If you did, you may play one character card with a BP of 4,500 and AP cost of one from your hand to your area inactive. Oh wow, so there are going to be a lot, that's right, a lot of formations or play styles if they're going to use this deck. Now, aside from that, uh, they also revealed the limited edition AP card and of course, it's none other than Amiya. Alright. Now, Arc Knights will be released this November 29. So, like I said, if you want to get the booster set and the starter deck, you have to pre-order them at your local TCG stores or online. Now, aside from that, another one 
But I would be say I'd be too surprised to see this, but uh, it's a matter of time. Another set which I would say the pretty pretty dark for an anime series. You know what this is? It's Puella Madoka. <laughs> That's right, Puella Madoka is coming to Union Arena next month, same time as Art Knights. And I'm gonna say, they're not only doing the anime TV series, they're doing the effing trilogy movies. Ha! Huh, three movies in this set, and I'm gonna say, why? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> For those who don't know what this uh, anime series is, it's about uh, magical girls going to a dark path. Really, really dark path, and I'm gonna say, wow. Now, uh, the reveal in the Bandai Fest showed, of course, the two double SR stars, and one of which is, of course, Ultimate Madoka. Now, based on what you've seen, she's a yellow character card, and she's a red card. So it says here in code, in the front line, you can use the magical trick cards. Uh, without raid other than Madoka from your remove area. Oh, so, pretty interesting. Then, on play, you may place two cards from your outside area to your remove area. Okay, for those who don't know what is outside area or remove area, for those in, uh, well, I would say Yu-Gi-Oh! terms, Yu-Gi-Oh! terms, huh? Outside area, your graveyard. Remove area, vanish zone. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Now, during this turn, if you pay the cost, well, I can reduce the AP cost of the next card you can use from your remove area by one. Ha ha ha! Now, on retire, you may place this card to the remove area. Okay, now that's pretty, pretty interesting. But what I'm really judging about this card is the fact that it requires 7 energy and 1 action point. Plus, its BP is around 5,000. So, I wonder what kind of playstyle it'll do. I think it's gonna manipulate more of the outside and remove area. And giving it a ton of, I don't know, inheritance skills or something. But, we'll have to wait and see because not all of the cards have been revealed. Now, the second card that was revealed is Devil Homura. Okay, let me say one thing to all my followers who are watching this video. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm an idiot. <laughs> now Devil Homura can also be treated as Homura Akemi. Now to raid this card you need of course Homura Akemi so it's okay. Now on your front line, your Devil Homura cannot be placed to the remove area by your or your opponent's card effects. So technically, it has a resist, but only for going to the remove area. Now, on play, you may return one Madoka Kaname from your area to your hand. And if doing so, you can choose up to one character on your opponent's front line and it gets minus 3000 BP during this turn. But if all your characters on your area are Homura Akemi and Madoka Kaname, it gets minus 4,000 instead. Damn! Okay, that is... Damn! That is a really unexpected. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, those are the two cards that have been revealed for Puella Madoka. Now, aside from that, we have two limited edition cards that are coming out. Of course, it's Homura and Madoka. Oh my god. You know, as a card gamer who has been playing different ECGs, those who have played uh, a certain card game called Way Schwartz, they will be shifting their card game collection to this set soon. And I'm gonna pray one thing. The demand need of this set will be high. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> Again, Vuela Madoka will be released next month on November 29, 2024. Pre-order this set from your local TCGs or online. Got it? You got it? I got it. And there goes my insurance money and my federal fees because I might go to jail for collecting this set. <laughs> now, coming out on December, yes, it's Christmas. 
Christmas, baby. Yes. All right. So Christmas, of course, there will be new ECG booster sets for Union Arena. And based from what I learned, there are two sets coming out. The first, well, is from the popular 2023 anime series, Shangri-La Frontier. That's right. Shangri-La Frontier is coming to Union Arena. Now, it has been confirmed that these characters will be coming out to Union Arena from the series. First of all, of course, we have the main character who is Sanraku. Yes, yeah, Sanraku is coming out. Not only that, we also have Oikatsu and lastly, Arthur Pencilgon. <laughs> okay, so these three cards are coming out to this set. So it has been also confirmed that, well, all of them are red cards. My god, they're all red! So, I'm not sure what are the colors going to be, re what are the other colors going to be released to the set. But what we see here are all their alternate arts that are coming out on this set soon. So, for those who are interested, make sure to pre-order this as Shangri-La Frontier will be released on December 13, 2024. Oh my! December 12, uh, December 13 is Friday the 13th. It's gonna be a cursed month for Christmas people. <laughs> now, the second booster coming out this December is a set that was first released during the first release of Union Arena. And that is Reincarnated as a Slime. Now, this set is actually Volume 2 and it will debut new colors. One of which is the color purple, which will be coming out in this set. There has been already yellow, green, and blue. And the first time, they're going to be adding purple to the series. Now, of course, what, what better way to have it than revealing the alternate arts for the set? We have, of course, uh, Rimru, who is the Slime Lord. <laughs> yeah. She is the Slime Lord. <laughs> he, he. Am I sure? Is that really thing? Yeah, he's the Slime Lord. Now, the other card that's coming out as a purple would be Hinata Sakaguchi. She is also purple, so yeah. Now, Reincarnated as a Slime Volume 2 will be released on... When is it coming out, my friend? Yes, yes. It's coming out on December 20. Now... Also, in this set, there is a limited edition AP card. So, if you guys want to get this or you want to have a chance to get this card, you have to pre-order the set uh, at your local TCG stores or order it online. Now, the last part of our video will be telling you guys what are the coming sets that will be released next year. Starting with 2.5 Seduction. That's right, 2.5 Seduction is coming out on January. When on January? Well, it's coming out on January 17, 2025. The following month, on February, we have Code Geass, Rose of Rosetta, which is coming out on February 14, Valentine's Day of next year. For those who don't know what Code Geass, Rose of Rosetta, it is the sequel after Code Geass, Lelouch of Resurrection. And we have a new main protagonist, and this series is really, really something. Also being released this February 2025, One Punch Man! That's right, One Punch Man is coming to Union Arena on February 28, 2025. And last but not least, we have Windbreaker, which will be released also on 2025, but no month or rather release date has been announced. To end the stream, Bandai has revealed, well, yeah, Bandai has revealed two more titles coming to Union Arena. And what are these titles? Well, what the, this is really a big shocker. First of all, for all Full Metal Alchemist fans, yes, Full Metal Alchemist is coming to Union Arena. A lot of guesses of what are the Union sets coming out and Prayers have been answered as Full Metal Alchemist will be coming to Union Arena coming soon. Aside from that, the Macro series. That's right, Macros! Idol singing Jet Fighter Girls. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm too excited. Yes, Macros, one of the most classic mecha anime series of all time, is coming to Union Arena. 
But which Macros series is coming? We have the first Macros, Macros Plus, Macros 7, and Macros Frontier, all of which are coming to Union Arena soon. Wow, the, the, these sets are really unexpected and I'm getting hyped about it. Now, everyone, I want to say thank you all for watching my stream today or my video. But please, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. My name is Conrad Wong, aka Sun 1992 I hope you like this video and please make sure to like and subscribe. I have to go now. Toodles!